Law enforcement agents are tasked with protecting communities, but throughout history, we've seen mistrust between certain groups and the police. Yeah, it's been very tough to watch. In this hidden history, our Washington correspondent, Bree Jackson, tells us about the significant role one man played in improving public safety and race relations. This badge, these sunglasses, and this nameplate belong to a pioneer in law enforcement and civil rights. Lucius Amerson was the first African-American sheriff elected in the Deep South since Reconstruction. Before that, a, a largely African-American population in Macon County was not able to vote for their sheriff. Rebecca Looney is director of exhibits and programs at the National Law Enforcement Museum. She says Amerson was an Army veteran who became sheriff of Macon County, Alabama in the late 1960s following the passage of the Voting Rights Act. She says many saw his election as a sign of progress for black Americans fighting for equality and against police brutality. It's a big step forward. I mean, we say that law enforcement um, needs to reflect our community. The museum uses audio and video exhibits to document how Sheriff Emerson worked in his community to improve relations between deputies and majority black populations they served. While in office, he vowed to enforce colorblind police tactics. What I mean by that is that everybody will be treated according to the law and no one will be mistreated. Lucius Amerson's story represents a defining moment in law enforcement history. Today, police departments nationwide acknowledge that maintaining and recruiting a diverse workforce is still a challenge. If law enforcement isn't of the community, then it's not really fulfilling the role that it, we, as a democracy, have set it to fulfill. Recent headlines have focused on the Black Lives Matter movement and the lack of trust between police and the public. Craig Floyd, CEO of the National Law Enforcement Memorial Fund, says he hopes the museum can play a part in easing those tensions. We're going to have thoughtful, important conversations between the public and law enforcement right here in the National Law Enforcement Museum. The $100 million museum honors those who protect and serve. The facility features thousands of artifacts, including firearms, body armor, and equipment used for public safety. I think for most people, it'll be a real eye-opener. Interactive tools and exhibits highlight community policing in cities like Charleston, South Carolina. The U.S. Marshal Service. Through programs and open dialogues, Floyd says organizers hope to restore and increase trust. We realize that there's great hope for the future, that law enforcement and the communities that they work in are doing incredible things to try to strengthen that bond between police and the public. The museum hopes sharing the stories of Sheriff Lucius Amerson, as well as the stories of men and women of all races who have given their lives in the line of duty, will help visitors better understand the vital role diversity plays in keeping our communities safe. In Washington, Bree Jackson.